Bangert, an awful thief called Al's Jim Gardner was able to see hope in the ice bucket challenge. But Al's proved to be way too much. A story about how a family and community rallied around him. During the height of the ice bucket challenge frenzy, last summer's viral fundraiser, that sent more than $100 million the Owls Association's way, I turned to Jim Gardner to make a ruling. Was the fad legit or a scheme built on misplaced good intentions? Did all those progressively creative stunts with five-gallon buckets of ice water pour out hope or just douse an already bleak prognosis? In other words, I asked Gardner, a friend and Fowler living with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, are you okay with all this? Do it, Gardner wrote. I think it's great. I'm still gobsmacked that it is happening. In fact, Gardner, diagnosed in August 2013 with a neurodegenerative condition known as Lou Gehrig's disease, already was laying out plans to do things when better. He dug out a song he'd written, recorded and nearly forgotten in the late 70s, called Get Wet? Complete with references to Jack Quillen Bissett in the movie The Deep, and hailing from a time when I still thought, if I wrote enough beach-oriented songs, that I could join the Beach Boys. Friends and family made t-shirts that paraphrased the chorus, Get Ready. Get Set. Get Wet. And they all made invitations to join with one more round of ice buckets in the name of Team Jim. Now, Gardner said, is the time I have. And he was going to make of it what he could.